How's everyone doing? I'm doing great. It's Teddy here from Team TJ, and welcome back to another Minecraft mod showcase. Where today we are going to be taking a look at the Atom Desert Dimension mod. That's right. So uh, there is the Atom portal right there. I've got our everything set up in there. But first, we're going to look at how you make this portal. So. First, you're going to need sandstone, and I'm going to quickly make a representation. I put it one block beneath the ground, but you don't have to do that. So, basically, you need a 5x5 five five grid of sandstone on the ground. Then you need to put a complete rim around that. And then you just put uh, these little spiky things on the edges, and then you need this, the scarab. The way to craft this is out of four gold and a diamond, so a little expensive. And then you just simply use that. Right click in this square right here, and it'll create this awesome portal energy that will lead you straight into the Adam Desert Dimension. So, we are going to hop right in. And here we are in the Atom. So first, the Atom, it's very difficult to see because it's kind of like an Egyptian desert place. So it's kind of like, it's like you're looking through a big sandstorm, basically. But there are plenty of mobs that will roam around. Like there's the mummy, the dusty skeleton, the desert wolf, and... and Plenty more. Sometimes there's. Uh, oh yeah, here's another one: the desert ghost, the bandit archer, and there's kind of another bandit. There we go: the bandit warrior. And they will all just randomly just wander around this world. They're all hostile, so kind of a dangerous place. I would definitely recommend at least iron gear if you want to come here. But there are like special locations, like this pyramid, which I'll be showing you later. And this oasis over here with awesome palm trees that you can get dates on, which is like a different kind of food. And growing here, this is not sugarcane, this is papyrus. So, yeah. And uh, sometimes in these chests you'll find some materials like strange sand, which is what all this is. And other stuff like seeds and bread. Sometimes you'll find other things. It's not very good, those chests, though. Sometimes there are other structures around as well. There's actually caves in this dimension as well. It's a somewhat large mod, but it's pretty cool, and I actually really like this mod a lot. And um, basically, if you dig, the stone of this place is actually limestone, and you can like get like a cobblestone kind of thing, kind of bricks, and even chiseled, and there are stairs of it as well. There's slabs and walls as well, but they don't seem to work quite right. They're all just one texture, even though they're not supposed to be. I don't know why. And there's also ore, but this is all just the vanilla ore, but in limestone form, which is actually kind of cool how they have all the vanilla ore here, but with a different texture, but all is exactly the same. The only ore that didn't seem to make it was emeralds, but that's fine. And there's also a limestone furnace as well, which works exactly the same as a normal one. And, oh, here's another uh, mob, but he's a little rare, the Stone Soldier. You can only actually fight him with a pickaxe because he's, like, made of stone. So that's actually kind of interesting how they did that. I'm not actually showing you these guys, like, with spawn eggs because there actually are no spawn eggs in this mod. So if you want to find a mob, you're going to have to find it on your own. You're not going to find any spawn eggs in creative mode. Like, I mean, even here in Not Enough Items, spawn on I, like i don't even need to complete it you can just tell that there's no eggs for the atom mo mobs so yeah but there are other cool things like this cool glass 
and here there's these cool like crystal glass but then there's also crystal framed glass and uh yeah that's pretty cool i like that and of course there's all the different colors as well and um how you craft this is it's just you smelt strange sand instead of normal sand and to craft the framed glass it's just the original crystal glass around, surrounded by sticks and if you want a dyed version it's just the dyed version surrounded by sticks so pretty simple so the next thing we're going to be looking at is the idols necklaces rings brooches and scepters so you find these as dirty and if you toss them in water basically so let me grab a uh, dirty ring and a dirty idol and a dirty brooch so basically if you toss them in water it will become clean and it will reveal whatever kind it is it's kind of a slight gamble what it's gonna be but as you can tell it's somewhat like you can get something cool like a diamond ring or something lame like a silver idol but still i think it's pretty cool and yeah none of this is craftable you actually find it in the chests but i think it would look really cool especially on the shelves from bibliocraft also also remind me to do a review on bibliocraft i really want to do one anyway there's also armor and weapons and tools this whole this is a full set Again, you cannot craft any of this. You find this in the chests as well, but they each have like special little things with them, and it's pretty cool. I'm actually gonna show you like this whole set. All right, guys, so I'm wearing the awesome armor, and I got the awesome sword as well. I think it looks pretty cool, in my opinion. It looks awesome. So, yeah, and uh, then there's this set as well, but this one is a little different. It looks different as well, and uh, also, I think it looks pretty cool, especially the fact that it's red. Red is my favorite color, after all, and this set is pretty awesome, though it has slowness on it, so you're a little slower while wearing this set, but that's fine. And uh, But on this set, you get night vision, speed, haste, jump boost, and fire resistance, so this set, in my opinion, is probably a lot better, so I'm just gonna keep wearing this for the rest of the review. There's also the limestone set, but it's pretty simple, it's just the same as a stone set, just with limestone instead. There's also the mummy set, the wanderer set, and the desert set. So the mummy set is crafted out of cloth str uh, scraps, which you is drops off the mummies, obviously. And I'm gonna take this off just so I can show you guys. I now kind of look like a mummy as well as I have the view of one as well. So yeah, that's uh, a little weird. And uh, then there's the Wanderer set, which I think is also kind of cool as well. Not too bad. And the Desert set. So yeah. And the Wanderer set is crafted out of linen, which is crafted out of flex, which... I believe you can find growing in those like uh, little oasis things, at least I'm pretty darn sure that's where you can find them. And uh, the desert set is actually crafted out of the wander set and iron, so that's kind of cool how they mixed all that together. In this last chest I've got some cool bows as well that each do slightly different things. There's also like axe things, like daggers, necklaces. Uh, a fishing rod, which is pretty cool, another hoe kind of thing, and uh, whatever the heck this is supposed to be. And then there's like some normal weapons, the scimitar, the great sword, the scepter, the stone soldier sword, and the short bow. So yeah, but I'm going to show you each of these bows. So this one, basically, it just shoots for like, I think, enhanced damage. Yeah, definitely enhanced damage. This one shoots uh, for not quite as much, but I think sh uh, light. Yeah, it doesn't shoot for quite as much, but it's still kind of cool. This one explodes on impact. This one poisons the enemy that you shoot it at. And this one shoots two arrows instead of one. So that is pretty cool. I really like these bows, and I especially like this one, actually. So I'm going to keep that. I'll get rid of all this. 
And uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you what's in these pyramids because this is a very important structure. So when you go in here, you're going to see these, which are basically fire traps. If you go stand like one block in front of them, you're going to be set on fire. And all this stuff is actually unbreakable. It is a complete maze. And you have to try to find the ladder, which easily enough, it's right here for me at least. And then you find this, which when you open in the chest, the Pharaoh boss of this mod will spawn in. So it's kind of up to you to kill the boss, and then you can see what's in the chest. So yeah, he has a lot of health. He's actually kind of dangerous. He summons in the mummies. But I believe these mummies are actually a little stronger than the ones outside, but once he is dead... The mummies will be gone, and he should die soon. There we go. Okay, no, they don't actually despawn, but hey, whatever. And basically, he drops some like gold and a random part of this set. He'll just, just drop a random gold thing. And also, the mummies drop exoplasm as well, which actually is used for bottles of enchanting. So another mod that adds in the recipe for bottles of enchanting pretty cool and this fishing rod's probably pretty good as well anyways guys that's gonna be about it for today's video i hope that you guys did like this awesome mod showcase i think that this mod is awesome i absolutely love the adams uh, mod especially the fact that i always liked like egyptian stuff so this is a pretty awesome mod in my opinion let me take off my helmet so you can see my face yeah, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please do leave a big fat thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. Also, if this happens to be the first video in it you have seen by me, then please do consider subscribing and join Team TJ Today for awesome gameplay videos and other amazing content like this. And again, apart from that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Tiny Nature 6 out. Goodbye, guys! Guys, I forgot to mention that the chest still has some stuff in it. And it's just a bunch of gold, iron, an enchanted book, which happens to have thorns three on it, some bread, and one of those neck uh, necklaces, a dirty necklace, but it actually says emerald necklace, but I, I guess it's teasing what it's going to be, but whatever. Anyway, again, subscribe to join Team TJ, and again, Tiny 96 out. Goodbye.